I want to talk to somebody in charge. You are not fooling anybody when you say that what happened was a natural disaster. You're lying. No! Oh, it's got zero! Oh, yeah! oh no! I wonder how many people start out the reviews of this. Like, how many reviews of Godzilla out there? They're just like, screw it. Let's go with the racial air- stereotype. Of, oh, no. It's got you. Uh, uh, yes, this is the 2014 Godzilla. Easily the best. Easily the best. Because it's not a man in a rubber suit that they just zoom out to be like, oh, look how massive he is. And it's not a giant retarded iguana. <laughs> I know people. I'm probably pissed off a lot of people. Controlled by aliens for those real diehard Godzilla fans. I think I already pissed them off because I made fun of their old movies by saying it's just a man in a suit going, me. Actually, those arms are too long. It's me. I actually saw one of the clips where Godzilla, the man in the suit, drop kicks a guy. He drop kicks, like, you know, one of the monsters. I don't know any of their names besides, like, Mothra, which they don't even call him Mothra in this movie. No, Muto. Muto. Muto number one. Which, you know, that probably, you know, some Die Hard fans are probably like, oh, they didn't call him the shitty American version. Well, I mean, MUTO is an acronym. Is it? Yes. For what? Uh, well, shit. What? Massive Unidentified Terrestrial Object. Okay, whatever. I thought it was some Japanese bullshit because the guy who made it up was Japanese, so. They literally tell you MUTO. They call him something like Or MUTO for short. No, yeah, probably. Um, anyways. Way to pay fucking attention, asshole. Yeah, uh, this movie, you know, Godzilla remake, which honestly, you don't even see Godzilla for the first half of the film. So, if you well, were, if you were expecting like a Pacific do. Rim type thing. That's what you were expecting, wasn't it? A little bit. Well, I was expecting a little bit more Pacific Rim. Uh, it's still better than the 1998 one. I, you know, honestly, for a long time I didn't understand people's problems with it until I do a comparison with this. Like when I watch this one with good acting and a good storyline and something, you know, actual, you know, awesome. And 100% less Matthew Broderick. Yeah. Well, I don't mind Matthew Broderick. Maybe not wearing a beret and French people coming out of See, nowhere. I, I, I like Matthew Broderick's comedy movies, like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And The Lion King. And Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> like, I like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, I think that's the only thing anyone likes of his. And The Lion King. Is he in Lion King? He is. He's, He's Simba. Oh, no shit. Huh. I haven't seen Lion King in a long time, maybe. And that doesn't really count as a comedy. <laughs> Yeah, well, okay, it's still a great movie. Yeah, uh, anyways, anyways. Yes, this one, you know, it is, you know, ba- it is center- centers, the story doesn't center around Godzilla. It centers around the family known as, you know, the Brodies. Let's call them the Brodies, because it's, it's like a dad and a son, basically. You have Brian Cranston, who is Joe Brody. He's a guy <laughs> who, you know, he had lived in Japan, worked at a nuclear reactor, outsourcing at its best, everybody. Mm. Um, yeah, and, you know, I, I almost want to say this was kind of a too soon kind of thing, Nick. Because not too long ago, like I think it was 2012, is when they had the nuclear reactor things going on in Japan, and then this movie has that exact same thing happen. But yeah, basically they had you know Brian Cranston. He's sitting there. He's a scientist man. He's just you know something's you know this isn't right. Look at these models and stuff. And he's science, science, and, science. And he sounds like he sounds like a crackpot. Oh no, that's not right. That would never happen. Yes, I mean yeah. He, you know, he's kind of, he sounds crazy. Uh, early on, his wife dies, and he kind of stays crazy. He has a son who grows up who, many of the, uh, Nick, you didn't even know it until after the movie, and you couldn't, re- you recognize this guy, but he like, got. I thought that's who it was, but I couldn't tell. He got buff and shaved his head. Then has Aaron Taylor Johnson. He's playing his son, who is Ford Brody. Which, honestly, I never caught his name was Ford the entire movie. Really? They only say it, like, 20 fucking times. Yeah, it's... I don't know. Maybe it's because Ford's a stupid name. Yeah, Ford... I, I, Maybe I thought they were talking about a goddamn truck the whole time. Like, they telling him to get in the Ford or something? Like, what are you guys... Do? But... But, for, for those of you who don't know, Aaron Taylor Johnson, best known for his role as Kick-Ass. Yeah, it's Kick-Ass without curly hair and way bigger. Like, he's actually bigger than he was in Kick-Ass, too. Like, this dude buffed up. And he does a great job. I mean, he's the central character of the whole movie, which you couldn't tell by the fucking trailers where yeah, they're showing. They Bra- pimped the shit out of Brian Cranston. I understand Brian Cranston's a bigger name, because, especially after yeah, Breaking Bad. Yeah, Breaking Bad. I mean, he's a bigger name, but you know, Aaron Taylor Johnson's the main fucking character, and yet I didn't even know he was in the movie till I sat down and watched the damn movie. I was like, oh, I gotta ask though, Nick, would you see this? In? 
Did you see it just regular standard? Yeah, it's just you know? in 2D. Okay, see, I saw it in 3D IMAX. Wow. Yeah, um, it was the earliest showing, so I was like, all right, I'll pay the extra money. It was 12 bucks, so I, yeah, whatever. Um, How'd it look? It, the 3D did not need to be 3D. Uh, Godzilla, nothing, it, like, it didn't seem like anything was in 3D. You know, I mean, you know when you see the trailers, like when I saw the trailer for Melissevin or whatever the hell, in the beginning, you that, tell, like, yeah, that was 3D. Like, she was coming out at me. It was like, whoa, that's 3D. Yeah, see, I don't know, I've, I've moved past the coming out at me 3D and just, got, like, I like the depth look. It didn't look that depth. I have to say Godzilla, though, in IMAX. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> that looked awesome. And the sounds was amazing. Well, that's because it's IMAX. Yeah. Okay, like, you know, everyone's seen the trailer where you actually hear Godzilla go, and it's like basically the Inception noise, yeah. because it's so loud, and that's what it would do, and you know, to our human ears, because, you know, it wouldn't just be the, but it would actually be a, and I'm like, oh yeah. shit, that one, that was awesome. So, like, near the end, when he just screams for like 30 seconds. And you know what, this movie is so loud, and it was so nice, because I had two assholes in the theater that decided to, there's like, like seven people in the goddamn theater, and somehow, out of the seven people in the theater, two of them fucking seem like they have the chat during the movie. Good thing is, though, I don't think they can even hear each other chat, because the movie is loud. Majority it of the is. film. I mean, when they get to the slow parts, that's the only time I heard them go... I'm just like, shut the fuck up! I'm trying to... Even, you know, even when they show the Mutos moving, you know... They just, like, they take a second, it's like, Aah! Yeah. The Mutos, those things looked badass. I was thinking, like, oh. They look like Kabutops. I'm sorry. Pokemon. What? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put it this way. They re- You know what they really reminded me of there, Nick? No. The Cloverfield Monster. Okay. They remind me of the Cloverfield Monster. And they were badass. And they, you know, they gave Godzilla a run for his money. And the final fight with them and Godzilla... That lasts about 30 fucking minutes, so it's a good fight. You're sitting there just like, damn. And, yeah, it's 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 a I had fun with it, but let me just put it this way. Oh, okay, that's what that is. I was expecting more Pacific Rim and less And I'm sure that's what you get in the sequel. Yeah, I, I maybe, maybe so. Uh, I also kind of think that they didn't really explain Godzilla well enough. Like, they explained him, like, saying, like, oh, you know, backstory, backstory. They don't really explain why he just comes out of nowhere too much just to kill these things and walk away. Because he he's a balancing force. He's like, okay, these things are fucking shit up. I gotta go fuck their shit up. I guess. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know. Is uh, you know, he's giant monsters fighting each other. I'm not looking for a real big backstory with him. I you know, I was a little amazed though. But, uh, the acting great. Aaron Taylor Johnson, Brian Cranston do do a great job. I think Brian Cranston does an amazing job. In I mean, you know, he's, you know, he ears up. He shows emotion through all the scenes. He just do much. He's just kind of there. And you talk about a guy basically gives, like, he kind of gives little two shits about his family, in a matter of speaking. Well, I mean, you know, you met, how would you, your, your dad went crazy. Well, yeah, I don't know. Well, no, not his dad. Oh, you're talking about his His, family? his actual family, where <laughs> he's like, I gotta go save him. <coughs> oh, wait, I'm gonna go do this other mission with them. You okay, know. well, think of it from his point, you know. The whole movie is him trying to get back to his family. Yes. But he really, like, well, what's the point of going to my family if this thing's just going to destroy the town anyway? I should help. Well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just, I, I guess, like, if this was one of those stories where I get to choose my own adventure, and one of the choices was go back to your family, get them the hell out of town, or try to help the Marines out, destroy the yeah, monsters, probably yeah. choose number two. He was the only one who could... Arm the bomb and disarm the bomb. Well, he wasn't the only one. He just okay, was he the was quickest. The only one there. He was the quickest one and the smartest one because those guys were pretty fucking stupid when you see them. Uh, like, they're... hey, this giant monster. Maybe my machine gun will take it out. <laughs> <laughs> it stood up to an entire barrage of cannon fire. Cannon and fire from my tanks and the uh, and, and the helicopters and, and ships. My pistol should help. My machine gun should take it out. It's not working. I should stand here and continue to fire. Maybe it'll bring him down. He's getting slower. Maybe we're winning. <laughs> it really kind of felt like that with the Marines. They weren't the smartest group in the bunch. Better than the Secret Service and White House down. Just when they just run out the front fucking door. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Uh, Jim died there all of them. Uh, Larry died there all of them. Uh, or Olympus is Fallen. Whatever. One of the I know what you want. Same fucking plot. Olympus is Fallen. They were the same fucking movie, except for one was more diehard and the other one tried to take itself too seriously. 
I'll let you guys decide which one I'm talking about. Uh, um, anyways, back to Godzilla. What'd you think of Godzilla? The new, uh, the look that kind of looks like the original? I liked it. I don't, I don't see, you know, I'm not Japanese, so I don't have a problem with it. I mean, oh, there, there's a lot. I, he's too fat! Actually, I don't know anyone, I mean, he's the biggest Godzilla from what everyone says. Like, oh, apparently, he's fucking huge. Yeah. Apparently, none of, I don't, like I said, I've only seen the one Godzilla everyone hates, and he wasn't as big as him. That one no, was because that you know I remember the scene where the, you know Godzilla swims under the bridge and he lifts up his tail. And says, wow, look at him standing up! Oh, that's his tail. Oh, well, let's oh. put it this way in perspective, people. The 1998 Godzilla, that Godzilla was walking on the bridge. Yeah, this one. In the 2014 Godzilla, he fucks up the bridge. <laughs> 2014 guys, he was probably longer than the bridge. Oh yeah, he was longer than the bridge. He would, he couldn't stand on that bridge. His foot was like the size of the damn, I mean, he's a big motherfucker. And it is an, oh, see, when you finally get to see him on screen, it is one of those, oh god. Yeah, like, you know, cause the first time you see it, he just puts his foot down, he's like, rawr, motherfucker. I know, I know, boom, and you're like, oh shit's going down. And, um, you know, I, that's really what sold the movie for me was the last 30 minutes because honestly the beginning one was intriguing enough to keep me going I think it kind of drops the ball with them trying to hunt the monsters when they're trying to hunt the mutos and it's just them going from scenery to scenery seeing the marines get their ass kicked the whole time that's where the movie kind of slowed down a little bit for me where I'm just like ah, I really don't you know I, I, I would dig a good monster flick but basically, you wanted a Godzilla movie without the story. Well, just, it's just, not kind of. Yeah, I wanted more of my monster fighting. And Nick, I'm not gonna lie. If I have Godzilla versus something, I want the like. Okay, if this was purely just Godzilla, Nick, I would understand them having it focus more on the humans trying to take out Godzilla, which is what I initially thought it was gonna be. Oh yeah, I initially thought until they showed that tra- the scene. That's why I don't feel the fucking Mothra or whatever the hell you're gonna call it is in this movie because they showed it in the trailer something that is clearly not part of Godzilla. Which me. Having never seen that trailer, oh, threw me up because like I saw, I was like, through that, I was like, okay, it's kind of a weird looking Godzilla. <laughs> all right, all right, and then he shows it. Oh, uh, it's not okay. Godzilla at all. <coughs> I was, I was like, is he just gonna like you know bulk up and mutate or I know. <laughs> like that's not good. I saw the, yeah, that trailer they showed was very different. <laughs> Um, yes, I, I really dig this Godzilla. They gave him back his flame powers, by the way, people, so he does have his... Blue like, flame powers. Blue flame powers, yes. He is a bad motherfucker. I don't really know anything about Godzilla, and I don't think you do either. I mean... I know, I've seen quite you, a few movies. You know more about it than I do, though, because you've actually seen the movies. And um, I've, I've seen the movies because I had to babysit a kid who was in love with Godzilla. My only wish, though, their next villain they would pick... The three-headed dragon thing. Oh, I don't remember his name. Yeah, I don't know his name either, but that thing... had Tetra in it. It might have been. Because that thing is just fucking cool. It's like, a, it's, you know, basically like, you know, it's like a Hydra that does oh, it. Oh, yeah. The and then there's a mechanized version of it, too. Oh, yeah, then the mechanized version of it. And then they have that one, like, turtle god. I mean, they have a lot of, they can make these movies last. Now, I gotta ask you for a prediction of the future Godzilla movies. Do you think that they're gonna keep Aaron Taylor Johnson, or do you think they're just gonna pick a new protagonist? I think they'll keep him around for a little bit. I think he might stay for the sequel, but if they make, like, a trilogy or something or, like, keep going with it, he's not going to stay the whole time. So if they do, uh, they will, you know, they're probably going to do a sequel. They'd be kind of stupid not to. Um, I'm trying to think. Any, anything else you want to add to this movie? No. What would you give it? I would give it a four star. Four star? It wasn't a bad movie, and I have to warn people. All right, let me give Brandon's warning here. If you go see it in 3D IMAX... I don't know about you guys. I I got a headache from it. Like I don't know if it was the 3D. I think I want to say it was the 3D. The 3D it gave me a headache. It was just some one of those things where you know pussy. I know. I didn't. Like, it didn't get me sick or something. <laughs> it just it did give me a headache about it. And I did. I will have to say though, I I was expecting a different movie. So be sure to expect more of a character piece and more of a really a character piece about. Ford Brody, which Ford Brody really isn't an interesting enough character for me to want to follow him. Like, you know, they didn't make it stupid, fun, and campy like the 1998 version. They take a very more serious toll with it, which I respect completely. And the last 30 minutes with the Godzilla fight is amazing. But I really felt like the middle was just kind of lackluster. So I'm going to, I want to give it a 3 out of 5. 
Um, it's a fair movie. You see it in theater. It is definitely worth seeing on the big screen just because Godzilla is so fucking huge and you want to hear his roar with the nice movie theater surround sound. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. There's you like 12 channels. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you have good surround sound in your place, by all means, turn that shit up and have your house shake with him because it is, it is a great thing. This is a movie that you want to see on the big screen, though. Yes. I may not have given it a, I may have given it an average rating. But god damn, as a, as a movie to see in IMAX. Not IMAX 3D, but IMAX definitely. Um, I don't think there is just IMAX for this movie, though. <sighs> yes, there is. Because I had, there was a choice. They had uh, regular IMAX and IMAX 3D. There was. Um, but anyways, that is it, everybody. Let us know what you think about Godzilla. We'd love to chat. Granted, if you want to chat with us, you have to go to the Facebook page, not YouTube. No one will see it on YouTube. So that is it, everybody. Have a good time. Yeah, this, you know, this was a movie thing podcast. Do an review for Godzilla.